Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be reviewing the Logitech Anywhere MX mouse that I unboxed over at my main channel at youtube.com slash lakercoolman. Alright, so the specs of the mouse. It's an $80 mouse, it uses the dark field technology, and has a hyper-fast scroll along with a unifying receiver, back and forward buttons, and an app switcher button. We're going to take a look at all these in detail. Uh, first off is the dark field technology, as you can see as I show off the mouse here. Now that on and off switch is where the dark field is. Dark field basically allows you to take any surface and turn it into a uh, surface for tracking. So normally a uh, mouse or laser mouse wouldn't be able to track on glass because of you know it's transparent. But with dark field, it takes any surface. It takes the smallest amount of thing it can find, you know, like a speck or something, and it changes that into a surface for you to uh, obviously track the mouse on. And as you can see in the video when I was scrolling on the screen, it works pretty well. So it takes pretty much the whole world is your uh, you know, tracking space. Anyways, here, taking a look at the scroll wheel here. Now, this is a two-featured scroll wheel. Now, you can click it, and as you can hear here, that is the free spin mode, as I'm in right now, at least. So, free spin allows you to uh, basically go through tons of documents really fast, and if you click it, it switches into another mode, which is just basically your normal scroll, as you can see there in the video. So, um, you also have the application switcher button that when it's paired with the uh, Logitech software, it can do multiple stuff. You can change it for different hotkeys or just have it do that fan out thing right there. Now here on the side, you have your back and forward buttons. These are basically for browsing. They're conveniently stored there just because your thumb is usually tucked there where you can click back and forward. Now this little receiver here is not your basic tiny uh, USB receiver for a mouse. It's a unifying receiver. This allows you to pair any device that Logitech makes with that unifying symbol, like that keyboard I have below. It's all in one receiver. So if you have multiple mouses that support unifying receivers, or if you have multiple keyboards that support unifying receivers, they can all connect to that one tiny receiver. So that's very useful. And you can see here, the battery compartment also features a way for you to take that tiny receiver and just kind of pop it in there and put the case back over. As you can see here, I'm going to put the case back in, or back over and uh, it allows you to store it for anywhere comfortable use on the go. So this mouse is really, really nice. Um, like again, going over those pros, it's really, really uh, a slimline mouse. Uh, I'm going to be comparing it here in a second to a laptop mouse. You can see really, really nice functionality wise, has a lot of features. I really enjoy the hyper fast scroll along with the left and right scroll because you can do a lot of stuff. The software is very customizable to what you can do with it. And at first, I guess the only con, it just took a lot of getting used to using the mouse uh, without a tra uh, little like mouse pad because anywhere's your track pad surface essentially where you can use the top of your desk, the keyboard tray, wherever you want to go. So that's really the only con. The price, it's kind of pricey, but with the dark field technology, I highly think it's worth it. And I got it 50% off, so that's why I bought it at the time. So this is... So taking a look at the Setpoint software now, this is a software that comes included with the Logitech mouse. Now this usually comes with most Logitech products. You can see here you can set hotkeys within the Logitech software in the Setpoint. You can adjust buttons for the left click, the right click, the forward button, left scroll, etc. Um, within this you can set stuff like what you can use the buttons as a different uh, you know key. So instead of an application switching button, I can have it do middle button, I can have it do one touch search, I can have it do a zoom. Uh, auto scroll, I can have it do multiple things. And here you can see this is the actual application switching, what it looks like on the desktop. Um, you can have it show all windows, show the current window. There's just a lot of options you can change within the set point software dealing with hotkeys and how you want to change the bu button functionality. Right, um, going along here in the side menu, this allows you to change the mouse movement, the speeds of the pointer, basically. You can do this all in Windows also too. You can add pointer trails and stuff like that. Just puts it here for your convenience. Also allows you to do pointer acceleration like high, low, or medium. Here are your uh, mouse gaming settings. Now these are uh, limited depending if you have a gaming mouse or not, but this one uh, you can enable it for gaming detection and have it do the whole you know set point implementation or implementation I should say. Uh, here's the micro gear precision scroll wheel. Now this just allows you to change the how fast and the acceleration of the scroll wheel, and you can change it for different programs. They also include a battery level here, so you can see there it says remaining battery power 78 days. You can change the days to a uh, percent, which I should uh, hang on, I'll click here. So percent, and that shows you you have 85 percent. Very useful just to see your battery life. And last but not least is the unifying settings. Plug it, forget it, add to it. So you can plug the small receiver in, which I mentioned earlier. You can forget about it because it's that tiny, and you can add on to it. You can sync up other devices that allow uh, for unifying receiver. 
So you just plug it in and then you know open the software and uh, you can sync up your devices and it's simple as that. So this is a look at the set point software for the mouse. So overall, I'm going to give the mouse a rating a 9 out of 10. It's a pretty solid mouse build, really good product, a lot of pros within the buttons and features like hyper field, or dark field and hyper scrolling and all of that. Really, the only cons, it just took kind of getting used to, to using multiple things as your surface, like a desk, a glass desktop and stuff like that, just because you don't have that mouse pad or that kind of uh, you know ergonomic feel because you're using it on a surface that you're not normally using it on. That's really the only con, and I guess the price, it's a little pricey like I mentioned earlier. But anyways here, don't forget to check out our website at digitaldojos.com. Obviously our channel for more content at youtube.com slash digitaldojos. And with that, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.